Because of that, little nano swarm they threw down. They're ready for this kind of play. Evidently, they've been doing the research on Fnatic and Polvi, a player who dominated in many of the duels in the previous. Is oh, watching Fnatic plant on the B site, and now they've already managed to switch up and take full control of A. I, I don't really know what Craig can do here. He's completely surrounded, has to try and fight every single angle at once. I think his best case is to just try and fall back into the kitchen and hope that he doesn't get killed off there. There's no real chance. He's site. And although the plant might be secured, I'm missing a bounce on that one, they'll get a kill and they'll have very early on ability to, to bounce back into this and have a flank underway. Still retaking versus Fnatic is easier said than done. They've got the Operator on Polby. There is that Hunter Sphere. He actually popped a little bit early, but two quick kills coming up already for 10 Star. Leaves just two remaining. Trying to pressure onto Boaster. It's left onto your man Mystic. And this time, but so far for 10 Star, they haven't quite fallen for it yet. And from what we see from Fnatic in this round, wow, I don't want to jinx it, but they should have a slightly easier time. Oh, that's a bit of damage onto Stanley. <laughs> He's able to make it away, but Magnum's hot on his heels. Coming around, oh, and Durka no. catches one from afar. Lockdown to come I'm into sorry. effect. And this should be should the A site for them. I'm sorry, 10 Star. I didn't mean, I didn't mean it. I, oh, I didn't you, mean it. I didn't mean to jinx you. You've just I, completely <laughs> ruined them. But hold on. One shock dart in. Not, not going to land on the lockdown, but... It's going down a little bit deeper to try and get some damage. Still, I don't know how much of that's exactly going to help. Oh, Russ, okay. That's a good start. Viper's Pit going to be completely discounted into a four versus two. Ten Star have a chance, but they need to rely on Fnatic over peaking. And as those peaks come in, so two to the kills. At this point, Polvi probably wants to just get out of there and save that operator, but he's being spotted running away. Fnatic, oh, they don't want him to save that weapon. He managed to get the res off as well, cancelling out the early kill, and Cray swinging onto Durka. Not normally a duel you're going to win, but he'll take that all day long. The push through mid, though, is going to leave Cray screwed. Completely out in the open, gets clotheslined by Magnum, and leaves us back in a 4v4 once again. And here's where the Odin can get dividends. Those spams, it can be very, very dangerous, but a little bit delayed coming through. Now on the swing, long range, you are not favored in that fight. Trouble's definitely afoot now. The shot onto Boaster connected. Okay, that dwindles down the numbers of Fnatic a little bit, but they have a flank on the way. The Killjoy coming up through middle. All they need to do is buy the time, and with these post plan setups, you'd imagine that's what they're going to do. In fact, they're dominating the duels. Magnum pounces from behind. Doma in with another, and at this stage, it's all down to that Odin. Russ trying to get it done, but really, it doesn't feel possible. He needs to get a kill. There's the first. The Nano Swarm denies the defuse, and so he is out of here. Running to save that weapon through to the next round. Four to two. But a very... Hunt those Hunter's Furies. Is that right, Tom? Those Hunter's Furies. That sounds weird. It doesn't sound right. So I'm just going to avoid it. The and Hunter's then just leave you to Furies. sound like the fool. Many of the Hunter's Fury abilities are online. They've been on online for a while. But eventually, it comes in. It's one Hunter's Fury. That's easy enough. Most are able to catch Russ with it. And the trade back for Durka. Here's the other Hunter's Fury. Meaning both of those abilities have been used. Answered back. Now that's cleared out. A little corner. Making sure that they've got themselves a kill. Man advantage only times one to Fnatic. This is definitely still doable for 10 star. They're being manipulated though. Sticking around the B site. Oh, Magnum. Oh, he's got into Tube. He's going to be coming all the oh, way around, but that's going to be the spike dropped, and there's only 10 Five, seconds left. Seconds. It's time to pounce. He's going to go quickly. There's the kill, but no time for a plant. They need to find it, and they oh, do. No. Brody not able to curse it anymore. I respect it. There's one kill for free for Magnum, but he's pushing up. These pistols close range, man. They can be dangerous. They've got the numbers advantage, but Magnum, he doesn't give a damn. He's killed all four of them, rushing at them with a pace they could not anticipate. Turning them into phantoms and leaving the 4v1 in the hands of Stanley. And Magnum, oh, he's coming all the way back for the ace. He is hunting that one down. Onto this, um, this lineup, this iteration, it's by far the best that they've ever looked. <gasps> oh, that's an vicious play by Paul. He gets blocked on the dash back and they just oh, get dear. shut down. Durka caught with his knife out. At least it's some sort of consolation. But the quick kill back puts it into a 4v2. That's a spike, at least. Oh, this is doable for Brody if he wins that fight, but he doesn't. I don't think I've ever seen a whole coming in, but 
This will be expected at this stage by Fnatic. They've got the manpower to go back and cover those flanks. That's what Mystic is doing alongside Magnum. As Magnum just swings and this guy, he is on fire right now. I'm convinced there's something with that skin that he's using. Sure, as we talked about the value of playing against Fnatic, you'll learn so much. It's a prize in its own right. And there's a lower bracket as well. They'll be taking notes as we speak, but definitely not counting themselves out. This angle found by Magnum. We said this pistol was incredibly important, and it might not be over yet, but as you can see, the deck is definitely stacked against 10 star, the 4v2, and very low HP on their Viper. One enemy remaining. Spike this was down a miss. A. I don't think anyone. He's gone. Now, I was not expecting Durka enemy to die win. there, in all honesty, but yeah. luckily, you kill 1D, and there's another oh. waiting right behind. Ross has now found another though. 3v3, maybe a weapon or two. They won't be able to peek and deny that plant, so it comes down to post plants. Caution here. Definitely workable. Shock dart in to try and chip away a little bit of the HP. Not gonna do any major damage. And the last few pieces of utility trying to force players off the angle. They didn't expect Russ up close and already trading into a 2v1. But it's this man once again. Magnum always seems so solid in these clutches, looking to wrap back round behind them, bait someone into the peak, but they're just holding, sitting back, trying to play within this crossfire. The bait and switch wrap around, but he still isolates the duel. Comes down to the 1v1, the timing for Brody, but he hasn't spotted him and he's burning down that clock. Just a little bit longer, and it should be enough to take home wow. the round. Congratulations to 10 Star. They take it home with pistols. It's a fourth on the board. This whole time, Cray has been working. We saw him earlier outside that A site, waiting for an opportunity, but sadly, they hadn't sold enough of a fake onto that B site for him to get the lurk coming through. Now that fake turns into a, a real hit. They're going to just be rushing in, looking for that plant, and Durka, well, he's not interested in spamming just yet. He's hoping that someone gave him the opportunity, just crossed on that wall, not realizing there's a gap, but looks like 10 Star acutely aware. We'll end up in a 4v4 with, again, post plans to be played out. Yeah, they managed to hold it in the previous scenario, and this time, both sides with weaponry. The delayed push from Magnum, though, he always seems to be in the right place at the right time, but he not might not be needed. It's Boaster. He's got the big brain and the bra on his attacking side. You see Durka pop the blade storm. He's moved up. He's coming right up behind and taking Cray down. <laughs> About as easy no. as you like it. Magnum elsewhere shutting down Paul V, making sure that, well, there ain't going to be much coming out of him. And with his last knife, Durka, you just know he's going to go out for this one and look for a kill. Stanley's position given away. Baits out Magnum into a wide peak and a 2v1 aim duel that goes their way very convincingly. Boaster sneaking by. Fnatic haven't lost control of this b-side by any means they still have a bunch of uh, players around this area but having lost their killjoy in the early stages now means that they don't have anything to deny those plants and they'll have to presumably keep players towards that side of the map putting a lot of pressure on durka to show up if they do come his way as the blade storm fades the farming for the next one begins 45 seconds 10 star to try and make their move. They'll get the res onto Kray, turn it into a 4 versus 4, but this gives a lot of information, at least where the Sage will be. A couple of the players known, and with Sova's dart thrown over the top, Fnatic now will have a pretty strong idea of where this push is going to be coming in. Bulldog not primed for this position, but the boost up from Doma is so sick! Utilizing his own utility and trying to go up behind them. He wants to close this on his own, it's a little bit of a whip, and then he pulls out the classic! You can't do that to them, Dome! It out, absolutely disgusting stuff. 12 to 5 here on Icebox. And I mean, things are starting to look uh, pretty shaky for 10 star, at least in this, uh, in this. Oh, coming in, but actually oh. a popped Hunter's Fury. Mystic is screwed. Brody with the prediction of the corner, but Magnum is so quick to pull it back, and he's going to use their wall against them. That's so nice, and for them to even spam that, they have to go right up to where he can kill them very, very easily. Hunter's Fury, oh my god, he's gotten two with it. Recon up to the back site, not even needed. Durka is hunting them down. He's found Brody, the defuse is underway. Brody has to go quickly. It's now or never, and it is never, as Fnatic take it 13 to 5. The same on the other side. Oh, look at this, straight away, Durka is just 
absolutely destroying them. Dome on the backside hadn't even been spotted, and he's good for two. And Stanley's left here thinking, guys, are we pushing? Guys? Guys? Here. Just gotta let the people know. Let the people know what's going on. Durka hit that shot, I think, tagging up Polvi, but that wall. Being a little bit of extra armor, extra shields, but it won't last the second time around. Doma in the corner, now in trouble. Gets the flash off, but not before Russ can take him down. We end up in a 3v2, and with Durka on site, he's flashed up and still good for more. Even trying to jumping right-click classic this final player. Poor Cray on the site, barely stood a chance. 3-0 to zero we go, and... and for 10 star, it's a complete change of direction. They're going to use the Rolling Thunder, which, I, I mean, I commend them for. Take a look at that Viper Wall as well. This is something that we've seen from Mystic yeah. before. Back sight, so that you can actually uh, just cut that off. Com excuse me. Cut that angle completely off when you go back in for the retake, which is exactly what they're playing Ooh. for. But an opening kill by Prey complicates things a little bit, you would imagine. Oh, it's perfect from Brody. Peeks out with Russ, but even still, the trade's coming back thick and fast. It's left onto Stanley. Now, both players are tagged, so it leaves him with an opportunity. He doesn't have any stars left in place. We can't do much to deny them, but he will hit the headshot, at least onto Mystic. It turns into the one versus one. The spam through the wall, not quite connecting. Doma just trying to bait him into this peak, but he really doesn't need to go for it. Doma just banking on him eventually, pushing, and Stanley... Things went 4-0 to zero in Durka. Is just running up in the early stages. Nice fight on A long. That's great control for 10 star to play with. His teammates a chance to rotate in. It funnels them through, but killing him off is so integral. Russ has done just that. It's not going to allow any resurgence from the remaining players. It means that they're going to get the site as well and have those afterplants ready and waiting. This is a good look for 10 star. And the flash ready, the timing, not waiting for anything to happen, just popping it on their own timing and pushing forward. Don't quite get the rewards they wanted. Magnum eventually does fall, though, leaving it into the 2v4, and a position now for Fnatic that they may be better off just cutting their losses and sending it back. But in fact, I see them run forward into a gravity well they go, receiving a couple of spams. In the meantime, Boaster shot in the back. And the round is done. But what it does tell them is that there's only one. The others are in towards market. What was that from Brody? He protrudes from the smoke that Spike has dropped. Durka comes in hot, dominating onto two players, getting healed up as well right after. And 10 Star is stuck inside a main, but that Spike, it's out in the open. They've got to make a huge play to get back into this with everyone on Fnatic staring right at them, waiting for them to step on out into the open. And where can they go? Stanley running back would probably even be shot from market. He needs to try to create some space here because they are boxed in. There's a flanker behind. There's literally players everywhere. And with 12 seconds left, the timing, it's uh... got here. It comes down to Mystic on the site. A headshot connected. Time is their friend. The spike needs to be planted now. They can't afford to fake. Mystic goes out, but he can't get it done. And Boaster, a 1v2 to win out. He suspects that this player is up close. Cray receives the headshot. Oh. And Boaster gets away with the fifth round for Fnatic, but that previous round right there, that is that has changed it from I like this team to I love this team. Tenstar got a lot of potential. I want to see a whole lot more from them, and we're getting to right now. Pistols in play for Fnatic. And trying to sneak a little setup in the corner, but it gets caught out. Ooh, Paul V receives a few bullets to the head there. And with Boaster pushing down mid, this is a very aggressive classic round, and Boaster's able to even catch Stanley <laughs> off guard. Perfect accuracy. In the meantime, though, Cray, he's lurked his way forward. One Able to pick remaining. off a kill on the A site and looking like the difference maker here as it's down to just one Mystic. At least wants to try and make things costly. He might get one at least. It's always left. worrying with the classic, but that's a rifle into his hands. Now they'll have money for the next round. He can afford to take a risk and he'll find himself a second. This is not a round that they can afford to let slip away. A one versus two scenario. Mystic just waiting patiently, expecting players to come in on the flank, but the drop down will be what gives him away. The second he does, I assume there's going to be a peek out, and Polvi will be there to close. But Surely he doesn't. Surely he doesn't. How is he oh, still alive? No. no one's gone through with him. No one's checked him. And now he's spamming away. Poster just desolating them. That push on A. I can't remember his name now, the cheaper brother doesn't. No, me neither. But I, I have seen them, but I know who you mean. They're great. <laughs> Anyways, enough about oh, that. Oh, dear.
Yeah, they've got Magnum and Doma in a crossfire. <laughs> oh, he tries to escape one, runs straight into the other. Now, Brody has managed to find an entry into the site. It'll give some space, door will be closed, and an afterplant inevitable. I think Cray has to make some sort of play here, but Dirk has just read it perfectly. Knew he was in middle. Mr. Tiny Knife is going to try and get the spike down, but they tried to play with the bait. I like the idea from Stanley. Fake the door, push through it, but ah, there's no chance here. Magnum is on the move, and Doma is there to close it. Seven to five. Still a decent half from the... Amp it up. Get in. No, no, not in that opening door, they're not. Oh, okay, but they will in the next two. An aggressive play into middle, not happy to just sit back and allow Fnatic the space, and they've actually dropped the spike. So they're going to have to go back and try and duel for this ground. In fact, it might be in one of the worst spots I have ever seen. It's stuck behind the box in middle. I have absolutely no idea how they're going to retrieve that one. Brody, though, he's behind. He's able to take down Durka. That's even more swinging in their favor, and Brody's got another... Mr. Tiny Knife is coming in with some big bullets. And Mystic, well, I believe in him in every way. I support him in his career, but I don't imagine a 1v4 is on its way. And indeed, Russ confirms that. Middle Durka on the switch, looking to find some victims. They've got spawn covered off for now. It's the time to take a fight, and there it is. But only good for the one. Magnum almost gets caught dropping down, but the reload was in for Brody. And now he's in a bit of trouble on backside. Hopes to take the close range duel, but blinded up. No chance. Paul V's heard stampeding in. That was a damn quick shot by Boaster. Up close. And for Fnatic, just looking to take this control. There is Paul V, though. Already finding one. The flash is strong, but Darka still gets the kill. Oh, Cray has just been nearsighted, but they're not moving just yet. And he's just calmly backing out towards the spawn. The operator in play for Paul V, and he got... Oh, oh my no. god, I love it so much. A snake bite, a nano swarm. They've even got the poison cloud up. That's not even necessarily to combine that, but to block off the vision. And Paul V's aggression, well, it gets squashed. The 2v4 that remains puts Tensor on a massive back foot. And sometimes you would consider saving, but now that they've got that kill, they're not. They're going to go for this. The problem is, though, look at this sneaky little position by Magnum. He sat inside a main far enough back that he can't even be spotted by the blind. And now he's choosing his moment to pounce. Going to line them up inside the alleyway. There it is. Cray goes down. Russ follows him soon after. And just now... He has an opportunity here to deny at least their presence. The combo of the Nano Swarm not going to pull him in. So he will be able to survive that little bit longer. We're also going to see the Rolling Thunder, which actually forces them back. Oh, Russ. Russ looking tempted to try and make a play through, but he's caught out. I think Durka might have even been stunned a little bit there, but hits the instant headshot anyway. And now they have Boaster just lurking behind, waiting to try and hold them off. And then this comes that ult as well. Like the second this Viper's pick goes down for Mystic, we could just, do, we, do you want to walk off and just not cast this round? Because it's over. <laughs> yeah, no, I think, I think we'll... Uh... We'll do our job still, Tom. I'll be honest. I, uh... Oh, do we have to? I guess, man. I guess. There's some good kills coming in, but I, I don't see them going for this. There's too little time. Viper's Pit to deal with. Getting that defuse in would be next to impossible, so they're out. But they're saving the web. Far. Can they get anything done here? Oh, the Seekers go out. Russ knows there's someone close, but hold on. The shot is hit by Doma too quickly. How does he get away with two? It's all down to Cray now. Two players to deal with and very little information. The time, sure, allows for it, but what can he really do if he can't bait them out into open combat? That's the problem. He's ready. He's paranoid. When are these guys going to swing on him? Well, he'll take the fight to them, but the timing is terrible. It's a oh, wow. Well, okay, Durka just gets him from behind. Busy. Fairly patient in the early rounds. Pretty well at least dodge the utility. Oh. We know how strong this gun can be, but Durka is just stronger. There will be a refrag, though. Stanley doing all he can to at least hold on, and now the Seekers go out as well. They will track down the remaining players, know that there's an aggressive spot as well outside of A, but Russ still manages to get a kill, and Stanley's found another one. They're bringing this round back, Mitch, but they've still got to be careful, because Mystic is going to get himself onto that spike, and with his teammate on the other side, he could have a chance to escape here, already picking off one, but he will be traded. I think they have an idea that Magnum's around here, right? And as he barrels up, they certainly do. 50 seconds on the clock and a 1v2. Let's see if he can get it done. Spike picked up and he's faded out on his way towards short. So they think. 
No. He's coming back. He's ready to fight them. There's the first, but up close, oh. Cray saves the day. <laughs> I definitely believed <laughs> when he oh, got yeah. that, but he didn't expect them to double up together. I, that, that's always the thing in those clutch situations. That the best you can do, really, for ten star. Just make sure that you're. He knows Paul. He's up close. There's the swing, and it's Magnum to take it, which means no weapon for Durka, but he'll recover that bulldog now being pushed on Brody. Catches him from behind, and a two versus four develops. Oh, look at that sneaky angle! It seems like Brody's. Oh, why did oh, he no. jump? What was Mouse Wheel? Maybe? I don't know. Meow! What? He's got both of them on that! They lined up! And it's all I down like to Craze! What a way to lose this would be, man! It looked like a certain round for 10 Star, and now Cray has to come in huge with a clutch. That broke me! I, I didn't believe my eyes that Mystic got two, and look where Boaster is! He snuck all oh, the way into their spawn, and he's gonna close it out 13 to 8.